Hello everyone, we are back with Clan Velvet Reviews here, and uh, the uh, I got my TDS meter, I um, did an open box review before of it, and this is now, I, I, I just uh, Velcroed it on real quick, it comes with Velcro with um, tape on the back, so you just, um, you know, stick it on there and then you can take it off whenever you want. This way, um, while you're working on the filters, if you get water and stuff, you're not going to want to get this all soaking wet. It doesn't look waterproof, and it doesn't tell you it's waterproof. So we don't want to just guess that it's waterproof, and it's not. And look at this. There's no way that's waterproof. Water can go right in there. So that's why I stuck it like that with the Velcro. So now you could just, when I go to change out all these filters or do anything up here, I could just take the... Um, you know, uh, take that off and not have it get wet and then uh, not have a problem with it. All right, so we're going to get that installed is my plan right now. I'm going to install it on the, uh, obviously, the line going in. So I'm thinking about putting a T. This is the line coming in, as you could see. See right there, it goes up. We're going to shut that water off. Um, this is my shut off valve right here. So make sure you shut this water off before you do any servicing or any filter changes or anything at all. Make sure you always shut this off first so you don't have a little bit of a disaster on your hands. And um, that's about it. I used to have a pressure gauge. I took it off because it kept, it kept leaking and I didn't want to have something leaking while I was at the supermarket or by accident. So it was kind of not making me feel secure enough to hook it up, you know? So I so I left it off for now. Maybe in the future I'll be able to put that on and we'll see pressure, but I know the pressure is good. I have like 80 PSI or something, so it's like really good. Um, so anyway, so we're gonna get this hooked up. Let's get this hooked up right now on video. So like I said, we're gonna turn off the water right now. We're gonna turn it off there uh, right now. Let's turn that off. Okay. So we're going to want to turn that off. So we turn that we turn that off. Then I got all my tanks over here. If you have tanks, I have four tanks because uh, as you know of my previous videos, I have um, I have a saltwater uh, fish tank. So uh, I need to have a lot of water on demand. And also, I have a, this is like a three-family house, so I got to have extra water. So... That's kind of what that's kind of it. So let's make sure we turn all these off. So you're gonna turn all these off. I have four. Turn all of them off. So this way you're not having that back pressure um, forcing water out. And you're not wasting water. Why waste all that water? That's yeah, you know, I don't know, whatever. That's the 12 gallons of water right there. Why waste all that filtered water for no reason? That's just being stupid and unresponsible. So um I think my dog is barking. Um so that's about it. Let's get this cut up and let's get this going. We're going to cut it right here. We're going to put a T, like I said, right here. And that's going to be the inlet. And like I said, then, and there's a certain position you have to put it in. So make sure you do follow the instructions and put it in the right way. Otherwise, it's not going to work for you and you're going to waste it. So let's get this cut. So we turn that off. We turn that off. I got to go drain the water out. I'll be back in one second. Let me turn on the, um, t turn on my faucet to get the pressure out. All right, so uh, so I'm back now, and let's uh, let's get this thing cut. I opened up the faucet, so this way we're going to get the pressure out of the line. So we're going to cut this right here and put a T right in here, and then that's where we're going to um, put put the uh, put the in um, digital meter. Is pretty much we're just going to stick it in right there. So that's the plan. You know what? Maybe I should stick it over here instead. Yeah, I should stick it over here instead. Maybe I'm going to put it over here instead. I know you can't see on that, but I'm thinking about putting it over here instead because this way when I change out the filters, it won't be in the way, I'm hoping. Yeah, so I'm going to put it over here instead. Let's cut this out and let's put it right. Let, let's put it in here, I guess, right? Put a T right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna tie this up, put a T right in here, and then we could tie this in right here. I can put it in right here. Yeah, I'll do it right there like that. Okay. Let's get the razor blade, let's cut this thing open.
Now you're gonna want a nice, fresh razor. A nice, fresh blade you're gonna want to make this cut because you don't want to, um, you know. Okay, so that's off. Now we're gonna get the T put on. T is on. Now, you have to make sure this is in the right position when you put this in. This is gonna be the in, right? So, make sure, can I, Can you see this in there? Um, yeah, you could see it in there. So, I'm, I'm gonna put it in here, but you have to make sure that the leads, the water passes this way. The water, if, uh, I don't know, can you see that? It has to be facing this way with the two prongs so the water will go over this and be able to tell you. Otherwise, if you have it this way, it's not gonna work. So make sure it goes in this way. Okay. I'm gonna get a marker and I'm gonna actually gonna mark it with a marker. Give me one second. Yep, I'm gonna mark mine with a marker. Right now, as you can see, I'm gonna put a mark on there and on here so I know exactly where the position where it has to be. And just in case it ever spins on me, I know. But it looks good where it is, but let's just make a mark and a mark. So now I made a mark so I know exactly where it has to be. But it does look good. It looks like the two prongs are side by side, which is what we want. So let's get this thing hooked up. Okay, so this one's hooked up. This is the in. Uh, which is hooked up, so that's the water going in there. So that's what's going on, like I said, into my filtration. And now we're going to test the water going out. Um, and this is my water going out right here, is this one. See this, this, this line right here? I'm putting it on, to let you know, I'm putting it on after everything. Because this is what's going to go in my saltwater fish tank. I want to know exactly what's going in there. I'm not sure if the alkaline filter um, is going to add... Um, anything to it I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I have no idea Let, uh, this is a whole test and new for me too so you're gonna see this installed and see how it works and all the rest of it and um, like I said so l let's get this thing installed I'm gonna put it on this line because this is the line that goes to my faucet and goes to my fish tank so that is what is going into the fish tank no matter what so even if I put it after this or this or you know it doesn't really matter I want to know what's going into the fish tank and that's after this one which I got a drinking water set up, not just a saltwater fish tank RO system set up. This is set up for drinking water. That's the iSpring water system. If you look on Amazon, it's made for, you know, drinking water. So just to tell you, and that's it. So let's get this thing installed over here. So we're going to install, like I said, right on this line coming out right here. We're going to cut this one. So let's cut this open right here. Where'd I put the blade? There's the blade. Blade is right here. So we're gonna cut this open right here and then we're gonna put a T on it. Okay. So we cut it open right there this is the water coming out. Let's grab that T. So like they do include T's as you saw in my other video. They do include T's inside the uh, the thing for you. So it's pretty cool. So let's put this in. Like I said, you're going to want to put this in just like this. The water has to go over um, these two prongs. So you're going to want to force it in just like that. Okay. Now that now I look down there and you make sure the two prongs are facing this way. They're supposed to be, not this way, they should be facing this way. And that's going to get you the correct um, TDS uh, monitoring, okay? So let's get this put in. Oh, I forgot to make my mark of the marker just in case it ever spins or something and something ever happens. I know that it's off whack. So let's make the mark. 
So see, this is how I made the mark. So I know that in that position, it's reading properly. So that's good. So let's get this installed. Put this right here. Okay. And then we're gonna install this like so. Okay. Everything's pushed in. Okay. So everything's pushed in. We're going to turn the water on now. We're going to check for leaks. Obviously, that's the main thing. You have to check for leaks, right? Because you don't want to come home to a... Uh... This is in the basement. Lucky for me. Hopefully, yours is in the basement. Uh, it's easier because if there is ever a leak or everything ever happens, it's my basement. The water will just flow out into the street out of my garage door. So it's not really that big of a deal. But if this is on the first, second, or third floor, you're kind of screwed. So you want to, you know, make sure that this thing is not leaking and uh, properly uh, installed and maybe even some uh, preventative uh, leak detection stuff. If uh, you really have a lot to lose, I would do that. So that's about it. That's uh, that's kind of what it installed. Let's um, let's uh, turn it on. Oh, see, this turned a little bit. See, there we go. Now I turned it. See, so they did turn. So it's a good thing I made the mark because this thing just turned on me by accident. So just to let you know, it's a good thing to put put the marker on there and make a little mark. That, that That's a pretty good tip right there because, uh, I, like I said, by accident I moved it and you wouldn't have known. And then this thing's going to give you bad readings. Okay, so that's about it. Let's turn this thing on and get it checked out for leaks. I mean, it doesn't look like it's leaking. I think that's, this one's not leaking definitely. There's nothing here. See, there's no leak at all. This one over here made a little drip mark, but I don't know. It's not really dripping though, see? I don't see a drip line. See, there's no drip. There's a little bit of water right here, and let's see if that drip line comes back. So I'm not sure. I mean, it doesn't look like it's leaking. See it? So hopefully that's not leaking. It's not leaking out of the side where the sensor is. It looks like it's leaking out of the bottom. So we'll check that out in a couple minutes. And if it's leaking, then if this is leaking on you, you just got to push this up, pull it out, cut, you know, maybe a half inch off of it and then stick it back in and then see if it seals again and then it should be fine. If, if it doesn't work after two, three times of you recutting it, you could be cutting it wrong entirely or the fitting itself is is bad. I've had that before where the fitting itself is bad and then that's kind of annoying. So, all right, so my water's on in the other room. That's a quick install. We'll come back and we'll check the TDS meter and how it works. Check my water quality in North New Jersey and you guys can see exactly what, what you're getting or at least mine in North New Jersey and see what's up. So we'll be back with that. Thanks for watching Glenn Belver Reviews on the install. I appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. I would love to know. Um, also, subscribe to my channel and join me on my review adventures of everything else I install and uh, I buy or whatever and try to help everyone out just like I get help from the community. Thanks a lot, guys. Have Be safe. Have a good one. Bye-bye. All right, everyone. We are back with Glenn Belver Reviews, and now we got this thing installed. We're going to test it out and see what the... Uh, I haven't seen any leaks, which is good. There's no leaks from that T, and the marker is lined up, and there's no leak from that T, and there is, and that's lined up as well. See, there's no water. And there's no water... There's no drip loop anywhere. See, otherwise, they'd be dripping water from that loop. And that's it. So let's see what we got, and we're going to see our water. Um, I don't know if it changes when... Um, you what's it called i'm not sure if it changes when you um run the water but let's see we're going to turn it on so we got 221 coming in as you could see 221 220 parts per million coming in out we got 27 um not what i want i would want zero to five maybe even 10 for my fish tank so I'm not really happy about that. Um, so we got to figure that out. So yeah, that's it. So that's filtered out and that's that 27. So I'm getting 27. 
And so now you can see this is North New Jersey and this is the, the water quality. So I'm going down about 10%. And that's what they said. You'll get about 10% of a drop of your um, TDS from installing a, um, an RO system like I did. So this is the iSpring 6 stage RO system and it's bringing me down 10%. I'm not sure if it's bringing me down even more and then the alkaline filter it says that that adds minerals for taste so I haven't seen any videos of proof of this I looked all over the um, I looked on YouTube and stuff and I looked at other videos I did not see proof of it of after the alkaline filter that it does add um, T, um, TDS because it does put in minerals for taste because this is a drinking water RO system not just a salt water um, fish tank setup you know RO system so uh, we want it for taste as well so I did get it for that because that's the main thing that we are supplying in this house is water for everybody to drink and um, save money that way so that's kind of what's up it's at 217 right now. See, it jumps all over the place. It sees, you know, go, but it, it drops about 10% is what you can expect. So that's just a little review of the water in North New Jersey to let you know if you get this iSpring system, how much you're going to drop in TDS. Maybe you drop more on your system. Make sure you get, um, get one of these HM, um, you know meters and then you can see how much yours is dropping make sure you install it properly before you uh, claim that it's uh, dropping properly and and that's it so uh, that's it for Glen Velvet reviews on the checkup of the TDS meter and how it's working and how we uh, how I'm using it any questions or comments please post them down below I would love to know um, Obviously, anything to help me out with my saltwater tank. Should I be adding on another filter onto somewhere? Should I be taking the water from after stage 5 instead? But it says in the manual that stage 6 adds pH. So I have a I have to have over, you know, 8.0 or more pH. So I'm wondering if this adds pH to my water and it helps me with my pH level. But I'm not sure. This is all a guess and throw up in the air. Um, if you do know, please post it down below, like I said, and also please subscribe to my channel. I'm always putting up videos of uh, other stuff that I get and install and check it out and uh, do a little review on it. And then you guys can check it out if it's going to work in your situation or in your house. And you can get an idea and get your own idea, maybe your own little invention going up. All right. So thank you for watching Glen Velver Reviews. I am out. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy.